Dynamite and Steve. Hi everybody, my name is Master Whirlwind, and with me are my co-host Dynamite. Hi. And Grave. Hi. And today we're going to play Snail Bob One. Now, um, before we do that, I think Dynamite, you wanted to say something about the ending of Snail Bob Two. What did you think of the ending? I like I liked how he got his friend and he wasn't here anymore. I love that part. Okay. All right. Not sure I got all that, but that sounds pretty good. What did you think, Grave? I, I liked uh, how um, the Snail Bob um, uh, three ending was. You like the Snail Bob three ending? You prefer the Snail Bob three ending? What did you like about that? Um, because um, his teacher got destroyed. Right, the mummy teacher. Yeah. I don't think it was ever really clearly established that he was a teacher, but I'm, I'm willing to accept that element of the backstory. He was a teacher. He was? Okay. Yes, he was. He was a mummified teacher. No, no, he been mummified when, because he, he his, the, the, his, because, his, because, because, um, because, uh, the... You can't wait. So this is when his his grandfather died. It's good. What? No, it's impossible because we saw his grandfather in Snail Bob too. We're at nine. Here, let's. Okay. Oh, we've done some of these already. Okay, let's look at the uh, the so, intro. Can we do the intro? Let's do yeah. the intro so people understand what happened. So this is the origin of Snail Bob. Okay. There's Snail Bob eating a tin of some snail food. All of a sudden, some big machines come and a wrecking ball wrecks his house! Oh, no. Ah! Yeah. Snail Bob has to run for his life, and then he's picked up in uh, the bucket of some backhoe or some kind of piece of heavy machinery, and then he's flung away like no. so much refuse. I don't think that was particularly safe. No, he been put right! Or fair. Was that fair? Yeah, it was fair, right? I don't think so. I mean, how many final notices did Snail Bob get that he had to vacate the premises? Nine. You want to start at nine? Okay, we're gonna skip the first few levels, or should we do? We should start from one so people can see from the very beginning. Let's. We'll just. We'll. We'll just zip through these because we know how to do them. Bob needs a new house. Use tools to guide him through each level of his journey. All right, uh, there we go. Hey, poor Bob. He just got kicked out of his house. <laughs> Well, poor Bob, he's just gonna kick out of his house. Yeah, Snail Bob is a sympathetic, tragic character. You can click Bob to stop him. Stop Bob on the button. Alright, there you go. Ah, conveyor belts. What happens if you turn it off? Turn it off. I can't turn it off. No, click two to go faster. That start over. It, no, it doesn't give me the option to turn it off, see? I can't no, click that. Start over! Alright, I've been getting a request to uh, restart. Restart. Okay, what do you want me to do? First, turn off. First. Do you want me to? No, 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 I didn't make that! Make that. <laughs> We've seen that before. No, I didn't want to do that! Okay, tell me. Be, be a little more um, clear. Use your words. So now, do you want Snow Bob to advance? Okay. Okay. Do you want him to fall down onto the conveyor belt? Yeah. Okay. Then don't turn on. Oh, he did good stuff. I gotta yeah. do something. Okay, so you're clear on that? Yep. He just gets stuck when you don't move him. Okay. Use Two. use double speed to make him go faster. Three. Use this tool to turn Bob around. Rotate. Oh, I gotta go up. I'm gonna go down. Okay. I'm gonna go down. And when Bob gets onto this platform, ordinarily he would be stuck in this position, but we can turn him around, right? Dad, rotate him down and see that's the exit. Okay, rotate him down, 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 down. Yeah! <laughs> Yeehaw! Yeehaw! All right, next level. Drag wow. this. Uh, if we don't, what happens? Let's let's watch. Yeah! Ah! He he he, he's just got like a little angel animation or outline. Yeah. A little chalk outline almost. Yeah, yeah, it's a poem. Okay, he can't fall now. 
but I think we need that, something to yeah, counterbalance this. Yeah, yeah, it's a poem. There you go. Yeah, it's a poem. Yeah, it's a poem. Yeah, if he dies. It's a poem if he dies? Yeah, a poem. There's an ode to SpongeBob? Okay. Snail Bob. Hold. <laughs> you were saying SpongeBob. Did I say SpongeBob again? Ah! Yeah. Uh. <laughs> okay. I think every time I say SpongeBob, you should pinch me. Give me a pinch. Ah! Okay, that's good. Enough pinching. Okay, let's pull him up. And. He fought. Okay, now we have to raise that. Oh, there you go. I did that. Hmm. Rotate. Hey, hey, I yeah, can't. like that. No. You want it up like this? No, not very high. Oh, it's kind of. Is it gonna be a ramp? Does he have to like zoom off that? No, the ball. It'll got to go flat. Then we can get up there. We can go up there. No. See? Oh, the button. So it is like a ramp. And yeah. that allows SpongeBob to. Escape on this pipe. Snap Ah, oh, pinched again! <laughs> what is up with my pathological inability to say snail bob? He, he's Ooh. caught! Hi, Dad, baby! That's Hi, baby! Dad, but he couldn't. He was caught! It's not often that a pretty lady doesn't lead you astray. There you go. That was actually a good thing for him. Okay, this looks like I'm being stopped by what? Uh, what is ice. that? Oh, that's ice! Oh, and this is a pair of bellows. I want to do that. Okay, go ahead. Go ahead. It's, it's almost down. It's no same. The Bunsen burner. Oh, no, that's not a Bunsen burner. The pile of glowing coals. It's getting hotter and melting the ice. Keep going. Okay, I'm just going to speed this up a little bit. Yeah, you sure can. Okay. So we click the buttons and it ratchets up the platform to the exit until Snail Bob, who is completely unable to climb, which I think is not fair to real snails, where I believe they are actually fairly adept climbers. Well, I think if Snail Bob could climb, it would make a lot of the puzzles uh, too easy. I think I see idea. See? Yeah. Now, don't you have to... T don't you have to turn this thing? Okay, turn... Yeah. Yeah, good. Oh, I think you gotta turn on that platform while he's in the air. What happens if you bounce him when that's activated? Does Snail Bob hit his head? No, he won't. Okay. Because he has a shell. No, I'm in those woods. Alright, awesome. There. Next one. Okay, hang on. We have to figure out the order here. So there's two, four, one, and three. So what was one? Pink. So it goes pink. Pink, okay. Pink, red, blue, and green. All right, I think we got this. Pink, red, blue, green. There we go. We probably could have gone faster. We probably done, could have done that at double speed, but we didn't. Hey, it's a ah! Danger, don't touch. Yeah! <laughs> oh, it melts him. Yuck. Okay. Oh, so green gobble slobber all over him. Yeah. Okay, we need to open that up. Can Snail Bob push this into the hole? Daddy said, <gasps> Dad, 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 he was afraid because it said do not touch. Can I touch it now? No. No? It's a, if he's I think I right, have to. If he's right there... Oh, no, I don't. There we go. If he's right straight into there. 
He sure did, even in snit and shell mode. Whoa! Drag this. Okay, that. Okay, that lowers and attracts it, that clamps it, and this will bring it up. Okay, so now the coast is clear, but we have to somehow get Snail Bob past this hot molten liquid. I want to do the danger. Which dangerous part? The dangerous part when it burns. Oh, you wanted to see that? Should we go back? No, not this one. He wants. He needs this. Ah! He ran right down of his chair. It's a fiery. Okay. He will fall, you're right. Oh, we, okay. We need the support to be underneath him. Just follow along Snail Bob as he travels. Again, we could probably be doing this faster, but I'm happy with a score over 200, are you? You want to see him get squished? Okay, here we go. Very familiar. Alright, there we are. Okay. Hmm. I think we need at least one of these supports up to stop Snail Bob from getting squashed. Yeah, like crazy. Yeah, squashed like crazy. Yeah, yeah, squashed like crazy. Yeah, like squashed like crazy. Squashed like crazy? Are there varying levels of getting squashed? Okay, stop. No. This is a. This might be a dangerous scene. Is it? These little pieces of, of these little pillars of ground that stick up are called rafts. Yeah, we call them that because they look like little rafters. Little rafters. rafters. Yeah, they look the the things that that itch, that, that give you things that make you look like a bad, look like an alien, that the human. <laughs> That's what they do. I have no oh, idea what you're talking aliens. about. Yeah. Squash like crazy? Are there varying levels of getting squashed?